डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी वेलकम टू डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी आई एम ह्योर एट चैतन्य स्टूडियो टू टॉक टू द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर बी कॉम रिगार्डिंग द सिलेबस ऑफ कमर्शियल कम्युनिकेशन टूडे वी आर डीलिंग विथ यूनिट थर्टीन दैट इज कंप्लेंट लेटर्स एज द नेम सजेस्ट द कंप्लेंट लेटर्स आर रिटर्न इफ द प्रोडक्ट और द सर्विस डज नॉट मीट द रिक्वायरमेंट और द नीड ऑफ द रिसीवर of course the complaint letters must be answered quickly now this unit deals with the basics of letter writing providing with sample letters on different topics on topics which are just given here as examples the letters that we are going to discuss today are for example purpose only but similar letters can be drafted on various topics in this unit as well the student will learn to practically apply the information and knowledge that you have received in the earlier units we have learned in the previous unit about the theoretical aspects of letter writing we have learned why we need to write proper business letters and what do they signify this unit again deals with the practical understanding of the business letter writing with letters given on various topics of complaints in different types so let us look at that now in this unit we will be looking at the complaint letters what are complaint letters as the name suggests these letters are of course written to complain if the products or the services have not met the requirements please remember please note that if you receive such letters they need to be answered at the earliest as any complaint these complaints need to be addressed at the earliest as well just because your company should say the name let us look at a few examples first draft a letter of complaint about defective electric fans and stating the adjustment in it so not only is the customer complaining about the defective electronic fans but they are also offering the adjustment let us look at the example so now the letter head mentioning the details the name of the company the address date to the recipient dear sir complaint about defective electric fans so before we begin with the letter or in the first paragraph of the letter what do we include we are thankful to you to execute our order very quickly for our order of 300 fans do not just rush into the complaint mode give some details be thankful we are thankful to you to execute our order very quickly for our order of 300 fans but we are sorry to inform you that the consignment which was received by us on november 5 2022 the concrete details when did you receive it november 5 2022 had in it seven fans in defective conditions when we checked the fans we found that four fans were not working and three other fans had only two window blades in each so out of the 300 fans received seven fans were in defective order so now what do we expect we request you to replace the seven fans by checked and tested fans within a week we are sending this fans by lechel road lines and request you to send tested fans through the same transport we hope for a quick response yours faithfully the individual right so what does this letter say this letter letter tells us about the complaint regarding the defective electric fans and also mentions the adjustment that the company should be doing it for the person or for the company 
Let us look at another example. A retailer has placed an order for ready-made shirt and insists on delivery within 10 days. Write a suitable order complaint against the delay in the execution of this. So this time it is related to the time. The details are given. Date to the details of the recipient. Dear sir, subject will be late delivery of goods. We are very sorry to draw your attention to the non-delivery of the shirts. We specifically mention in our order of December 10, 2020 to send the goods before January 1, 2020. We had mentioned that. But we regret to inform you that we have received neither the goods nor the letter. The delay in our execution of the order has caused much trouble to us. We have lost profit and prestige. Why is the complaint being made? Because this has caused us much trouble and we have even lost our profit margin and the prestige in the front of the customers or the consumers. Our valued customers could not buy shirts from us. They were disappointed. Please cancel our order if you cannot execute the order within 10 days from the date of the receipt of the letter. Now we are sending the letter of cancellation, but if you cannot send it within 10 days, we still give you 10 more days. If you cannot send us the entire consignment within 10 days, then we request you to cancel the order. As a businessman, you can understand the importance of time in a business transaction. Please treat this complaint as a friendly letter. Okay, we are not here to sue you. We are not going to, going to have charges against you. This is just a friendly letter. But even though, since it is business, it is a complaint. A complaint has to be a complaint. Yours faithfully, Namneet Pathak. This was related to time. Let us have one more example to get better, better clarity. The third one. Gupta and Sons have been in business with the chemical industry for 20 years. But since last two business dealings, he has received bad quality of chemicals. Now, he is placing an order for the same chemical again, insisting in the letter that the mistake is not repeated. We have been on good relations, we have been on good terms, we have always received good products. But just one time earlier, we did not receive the chemicals as we required. And that is why a letter of complaint. The details on the letterhead, the date, the recipient, dear sir, placing an order. We have been doing business for 20 years and throughout these 20 years, our business has been running smoothly. But we are sorry to inform you that since the last two consignments, the order that we were placing for polychromic chains in liquid form was of bad quality. The product that you had sent, the details of the product was in the bad quality. And because of this, the final order that we got in our hands was not of a good grade, that is was of C grade. So now we're placing an order once again for the same product with an expectation that you will take care of the order particularly and will send us the A grade products. We hope for better business this time and in the future as well. Yours faithfully, signature, the name and the designation. These were the kinds of complaint letters. Now, if as a company or as an individual, if you receive a complaint letter, as we have already talked about or as we have already mentioned, that complaint letters have to be sorted, have to be solved immediately on the priority basis. So if such letters are being received by you or your company, what do we do? These are the reply or the adjustment letter to the complaint letters. What are they? These letters are written as adjustments to the complaints sent by the clients. Since it is expected that it is our fault, 
we write these letters in polite language. Even if it is not our fault, we still use the polite language and if any adjustment is possible, we make it because the customer is the king. The first example, write a suitable reply to a customer who has complained about the shortage in the weight of the goods received by him. Let us see that. The details on the letterhead, date, the recipient. Dear Sir, we have received your letter dated 7th January 2020 in which you have drawn our attention to the shortage of 50 kilo in the consignment of tea supplied by us. Thank you for drawing our attention to this fact. We are thankful to you. So, courtesy. We do not just jump towards the conclusion that no, we have not done that. Thank you for drawing our attention to this fact. After receiving your complaint, we inquired with our packaging department. We came to know that you have placed an order for 200 kg of tea, whereas we have sent only 150 kg by mistake. So yes, your complaint is valid. Now, we have dispatched off a case of tea weighing 50 kg tea by Gujarat Transport Company today. We apologize for the inconvenience caused to you and we assure you that now onwards you will not have any cause to write to us about your complaint. Please write to us, definitely do, because that is what feedbacks are for and that is how the company grows. But we hope that now onwards you will not have to cause, you will not have any reason to complain against us. Yours faithfully, signature and the name. Let us look at another example. Draft a letter from Gupta and Sons who have received a complaint from JG Furniture Mart that their order was received late by 20 days and so they have suggested an adjustment that they want 2% discount more. That is the adjustment that the client requires. Now let us see how we reply to that. The details on the letterhead, date, the recipient, Dear Sir, we are very polite. We have received your letter dated 30th November 2020 in which you have complained about goods received late by 20 days. For that, we are very sorry. Please accept our sincere apology and allow us to explain the cause of the delay. When we received your order, transporters were on strike. The strike continued for 15 days, so we were not able to send your order in time. We agree that the late delivery of the goods has resulted in a considerable loss for you. We agree with your proposal and grant you an additional discount of 2%. Please find here with the credit note worth Rs. 1,500. We are sorry for the inconvenience caused to you. You understand the importance of relationships in business. So if the complaint is valid, if the complaint is correct, and if the adjustment that the, com the client or the company has offered is fine, is fair, then you must accept the complaint as well as the adjustment. Let's look at one more example. Draft an adjustment with a negative reply for a complaint received by you for damaged antique showpieces. Okay, so the products here are antique showpieces and let us look at what the details are. The letterhead, name and the company, address, date, to the recipient's details, dear sir, subject, just short and sweet, adjustment. What does this letter say? We received your letter dated November 29, 2020, complaining about damaged antique showpieces in the last order. But we are sorry that we will not be able to execute an adjustment because according to the terms and conditions that the buyer is responsible for the damage during transportation. We have already mentioned that, that if there are any breakages or if there are any damages that are being caused, then the buyer is responsible. 
This has been communicated earlier and that is why we are just doing that once more. As far as our side is concerned, when we loaded the truck, we have checked all the goods properly. From our side, we are not to be blamed. We hope that you will insist to follow the rules. Yours faithfully, the signature and the name. So at times it is not always necessary. It is, it is possible at times that you need to deny to a particular demand. So you have to keep all these things in record. You have to keep all the rules and conditions handy and you have to communicate the things very clearly to the customers. These were the complaint letters and these were the letters of adjustment against the letter. There could be many more complaints, there could be many more adjustments, there could be many more different ways of adjustments. The only thing that has to be kept in mind during these letters being written or being drafted or being sent or being received is the language. However difficult it might have been, you might have gone through a loss or the consignment that you have received includes a heavy problem. Still, be polite in the language. Also, even if the customer has asked for a different kind of adjustment, be polite if you are denying to that. If you know, if you understand that the mistake was genuinely yours, then accept the complaint and if the adjustment, as I mentioned earlier, is fine and fair, then go for it. But again, the communication has to be polite, has to be courteous from both sides. Even if you are sending the complaint letter or even if you are receiving the complaint letter and drafting an adjustment to that, make sure that you are courteous in your language. Use polite words, use words like thank you, please and sorry. And make sure that there is a you attitude that is used in the letters. I hope that you understood this unit as well and I am very sure that you will be able to draft the complaint letters as well as the replies to them. Thank you.